Deploying machine learning models, extremely important topic, obviously. So over the last few weeks, I've been working with a company, helping them deploy some machine learning models. Specifically, they have a recommendation model. I provide certain recommendations uh, as the output. And they want, uh, the, the problem that they're trying to solve is not how to deploy that model. They know how to do that, but how they can test that a new version of the model is actually better than the previous version. And this is where I come in. This is what I'm, I'm helping them to do. So today I want to show you the technique that I implemented and hopefully that will give you some ideas for your project. It's very sophisticated, I think, or, or at least it's very cool. And remember, the goal here is how do we know that a new version of a model is better than the existing version? And when you talk to people, they're going to tell you, well, you just evaluate the model and compare the performance of the model. Yes, but the problem with a recommendation system with a model like this is that you cannot just explore how good the model is in a vacuum. You need user feedback, and that is the main component that is going to tell you whether your model works or doesn't work. If you provide what look like good recommendations, but people don't click on them, then your model doesn't work. So imagine that what you're trying to do is recommend additional products based on the purchase history of a user. The true test of whether those recommendations are good is whether or not users buy those recommendations. They might look amazing on paper, but if users don't care, then your recommendations are bad. That is the main challenge here. So let me show you a diagram of the technique that I've been uh, working with this company on implementing. It's called interleaving experiments. And here, the idea, just so you follow the diagram, means that we have a client that is going to send a request. This is a web client that we have. And the request is going to be, give me recommendation for user ABC. And then we have a prediction service. This prediction service, think of it as the API endpoint where the client application connects to. The prediction service, when it has only a single model, is going to use that model to just generate five recommendations and send back to the user. What we did was adding two models now. So the prediction service, instead of sending the request to the model, now it's gonna send the same request to two different models. I'm identifying those models as legacy model, which is the current version that's deployed. Some people like to call this the champion model, is the model that's currently running, and the candidate model, which is this second model here in blue with the dotted line. The candidate model is the model that we want to test. Is it better than the legacy model? Model. This is what we want to test right here. So the prediction service is going to send 100% of requests to both models. And it's going to ask both models, can you please generate recommendations? But before, before we had a candidate model, all of the recommendations were coming from the legacy model. So the legacy model generated these three pink recommendations, and we will just send in those recommendations back to the client. Now we're going to be generating recommendations using both models and interleaving those recommendations in a response. So the client will not see recommendations from the legacy model or the candidate model, but it will see recommendations from both models at the same time. So we interleave maybe one recommendation from the legacy model, one from the candidate model, one from the legacy model, one from the candidate model, then one from the legacy model to complete the five recommendations. And this gives us a couple of good things. So number one, we are hedging here and if the candidate model is horrible, we are not destroying our application. So imagine the candidate model generates good looking recommendations that people don't care about. If we just swap the legacy model by the candidate model, well, after a month, it's just all of our purchases are going to go down the drain because th the recommendations are really really bad. So we don't want to do that. Instead, we're going to be hedging and monitoring over time how good the candidate recommendations are. And we will only switch to the candidate model when we are certain that those recommendations are really good. In this particular case here, let's say the user sends a request and we send back five re different recommendations. We can track what the users do with those recommendations. Are they buying the products that have been recommended 
recommended by the candidate model or have they not bought anything from those recommendations. So obviously it depends on how much traffic your site gets. So assuming you get decent traffic, you might need to run this for a couple of weeks. That's our case. We run it for two weeks. After two weeks, we collect enough information to aggregate all of the purchases and determine is the candidate model on pair or better than the legacy model. If that is the case, then we switch 100% of the traffic goes to the candidate model that becomes the champion at that point. And, you know, we will have to build a new contender later on to just to run the same thing when we have a new version. If the candidate model is not working well, if people are not clicking on those recommendations, then we can just discard that model, improve that model come back with a new version later on. Something else that's also really important is whenever you're presenting a list of recommendations, people will tend to to favor recommendations at the top. Like if I give you, these are my top five, I don't know, air conditioner units, right? People are gonna check number one first. They're gonna tend to favor number one first. Even though you're gonna say in no particular order, it doesn't matter. Number one is gonna get favored. You need to keep that in mind when you are trying to compare the legacy model with the candidate model. Like there are multiple ways to go about this. Like one particular uh, technique is to randomize those recommendations. So maybe you trust the candidate model a little bit more and you are comfortable randomizing recommend the order of recommendations. So that will be one way of doing it. The second way will be weighting recommendations based on their position in that list. Like anything at the top, you will know will get more clicks. So you will not just favor the model that you're always using to display the top one recommendation because it wouldn't make sense. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, this is uh, not necessarily fairly sophisticated, but it's a very cool way to test anything that requires user feedback. It's a good way to test a model with production, real production data without having to put your entire system at risk by deploying a model that is not good enough. You can test this in a back set, little by little. You can increase the number of recommendations that come from that candidate model until you build the confidence to deploy that candidate model, to make that candidate model your champion model. So hopefully this helps and I'll see you later with more tips.